Hi, everybody. It's Matt Robinson on RadioEntrepreneurs.com, where we talk about the secrets of success in contemporary entrepreneurship. I uh, hope you're checking us out on RadioEntrepreneurs.com or on our app, which is also available there. Our guests today are uh, Nancy and Robert Ocapola, who uh, the, uh, work at the um, Earl Realty and Development Agency. And uh, it's a family business. Mm -hmm. Yep. Third generation? Third generation. Yes. Wow. How, so how are those dynamics? Uh, it's a little... Uh, you know, it's a little difficult working with family sometimes, but, you know, uh, I enjoy it. And you, Nick? Oh, I love it. Is, is this, is, I mean, were you kind of encouraged into the field? Is it something you were just surrounded uh, by well, and naturally fell into? Our grandfather started it, um, and then it was my mom, and then we just kind of, I don't know, like, I think because we grew up around it, you just kind of knew you were going to continue it. Okay. You have other siblings who aren't? as involved or do other things? Yes, um, my sister owns a hair salon and then my other brother, he he's kind of in between both, yeah. Do you have different roles in, in the company? Um, Not really, she you know, she does most of the, 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 the paperwork. She's more go with the marketing and all that stuff with the computers. Um, I'm more on the, the manager side, more on the field, dealing with the vendors, the contractors, all that. And she mo mostly deals with the office stuff. Uh, doing contracts, all that. So you really do from A to Z in terms of developing sales all the way yep. through. Yep, we do yes. uh, investments, development, and sales. Okay. How do you how do you choose your sites, and how do you choose what elements of your expertise to apply? Well, we try to stick with uh, with with mostly Newton, what we know, uh, mostly Newton, Waltham, anything outside Metro Boston. We try to we, we stick to it with the the areas we know real well. And in this type of business, you got to know your market really well. And I think at the moment we're focusing more on like the sales, um, the development side. We do do it. I mean, we keep our eye out if something like comes up and um, I guess sparks our interest. But for the most part, right now we're focusing on the sales. Do you, do you specialize in a certain type of, of building, like residential or, or commercial? Or we have, right now we're we're de we're strictly uh, residential, but eventually we want to venture into commercial. Okay. Um, and, and so what, what's the process? You, you find out about an opportunity and then? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's all leads. It's all leads in this uh, business. Uh, it's all who you know, and, and it's just, uh, like I said, it, it's all, um, you, when someone gives you a lead, you gotta jump on it right away. You just can't, because it's so competitive right now. If you don't jump right away, someone else is gonna uh, be there before you. Right. So you gotta, you gotta strike right away. How do you develop your contacts? How, where do you find find pe your people who feed you the leads? Just everywhere. Um, you know, you, you gotta go out and, and shake hands with people and, and, and It's get all about who you know. And, and yeah, they, they know you're in the business, so when something comes up, they, they know, know the family, you know what I'll call it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's gotta be a great advantage. I yeah. mean, you can anywhere. I mean, you can make contacts anywhere you go. You just gotta, you gotta be uh, friendly and you gotta be out there. 